serious than that. I'm gonna mess with my microphone. Yeah, your microphone's way too loud now. Um, uh, but whatever. Yeah, I mean, whatever. I mean, ew, I'm trying to think of the name of the movie, um, that Robert Redford one, you know, where he goes out and lives in the woods. Um... I just had the name. How can not, I are you talking about Mountain Man? Are you talking about Mountain Man? No. Not, not Mountain Man. That was the uh, book that the movie was based yeah, on. Yeah, Jeremiah Johnson. There yeah, you yeah. Go. yeah, yeah. Um, you know, so yeah, there's a certain romantic, like, okay, okay, yeah, you go out and you live in the woods and you eat, you know, raw animals and shit. Um, but, you know, it's cold, it's smelly. I mean, you know, get real. Okay, there, there's no... I've, I've lived in the country. I've lived in a house that didn't have a toilet and that kind of shit. And it's just... It sucks. I mean, it just isn't... You know, bugs and there's bats flying around when you're sleeping. And, you know, it just... It sucks. So who the fuck wants to live like that? So I, I just think this romantic notion that TP life is also fucking goddamn charming. Yeah, it's a bunch of people who don't live in cheap TPs. Go live in one. Kind of your people and your microphones. Fuck. Yeah, no, I'm I'm totally with you, Gary. I mean, I went up on the, you know, the trails on the mountain the other day to film one of those, you know, Gary S. Fred S. type videos, and I just grazed oak, you know, grazed some poison oak on the way up, and now my my right leg is, you know, ballooned up about one and a half times its size. It feels like somebody stuck an air hose in my leg, and and, you know, and this is, I'm walking over a well-traveled trail with by, you know, hikers and equestrians. I can, I can only imagine what it was like, you know, uh, pre-civilization when Indians and, you know, whoever, uh, prospectors and trappers were walking across this shit, you know, the kind of misery that they must have endured. And that's just one example of the kind of, uh, intrinsic discomfort that that nature uh inflicts upon people so yeah i think it is it is definitely a romantic notion you know the beautiful the the dewy morning at dawn uh has appeal when you can look at it you know behind your double glazed windows but when you're out in that shit it's uh um you know you got to deal with the mosquitoes you got to deal with the poison oak and the poison sumac and uh uh you know, I think something you said last week, or you know, it's it's not it's not uh, Dumbo's fun ride. You know, there's <laughs> there's all kinds of uh, uh, travails and and you know acute discomfort that you have to endure being out in nature. So that's actually what I was getting at with the Fight Club example. Is I think it kind of romanticizes this this uh, paper tiger called the anti civ crowd, you know, the the appeal to primitivism and going back 200 years. Hey, you know, 200 years ago, before there were antibiotics, uh, you got a little scratch on your arm. I mean, you stood a good chance of dying in 18 months from infection and gangrene and, you know, God knows what else. So, yeah, let's not be too quick to write off um, the benefits of civilization. Well, not to mention smallpox and you know, all the other, you know, diseases that we'd end up vulnerable to again, you know, without uh, any opportunity to vaccinate people and all that stuff, just, you know. Yeah, for a lot of people, smallpox is just a, you know, a two-syllable word, but I tell you, if you <laughs> go, uh, Google image smallpox or cholera. I mean, you want to see something horrific. Look at how people, you know, before the World Health Organization eradicated this disease worldwide, look at how millions of people, hell, tens of millions, maybe hundreds used of millions, used to die every year. I mean, this is, this is right up there with Gary's, uh, you know, tumor coming out of the eyeball, uh, whatever. The worst images you've ever, or that, that fucking disgusting, uh, what was that little weaselly thing that with the s strawberry squirrel? I, I don't even remember what that thing was, but man, that was a bizarre life form. But uh, yeah, that little mold, mold thing. Yeah, what was Whatever that? it is, a yeah. mold. It's a mole, I guess. You know, just some kind of mole. 
But yeah, I mean, it's unfortunately, I haven't run across one of those things, but damn, he's got like a vagina on his face. So yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, you know, I'm grateful for the fact that, you know, if I, uh, you know, contract some, you know, bacterial, alien-like life form, I can go down to the, the local hospital and get some antibiotics. Uh, in the pre-civ world, that we got to give all that up, along with a lot of us other luxuries, like uh, probably this, probably the internet. I don't know. Maybe that'd be a good thing. We all well, this thing is a food problem too, though. Oh, yeah. You know, I mean, you, oh, yeah. you, how much of your food could you trust? And you gotta, you know, you gotta be like, so careful because it's gonna be under processed, and you gotta be careful what you put on it and how you wash it, and you know, you gotta make sure you cook it. And, yeah. Yes, yeah. nuclear may speak. Okay. Well. Yeah, I guess what they. <clears throat> They don't want to go back a few hundred years. They want to go back, like, over 10,000 years ago. They're totally against <laughs> the agricultural revolution, which has enabled all of this wonderful bounty we see before us. They have these really interesting ideas, like how our population is incredibly large because there's, I mean, and it makes sense. We've been overpopulated because they need to create, like, all this, like, labor force. So, I don't really know what to think about that. I guess they do have that, you know, not even, because there's so many people unemployed around the world. So, I just don't see how that's conducive. It's just a waste of human life, it seems. But my, my opinion is that human beings are capable of, you know, um, changing the world around us and manipulating nature, and that gives us an incredible opportunity to overcome all of the horror of nature. And I don't see how human beings just get like. I never said all. Yes, you just did. <laughs> did I? Yeah. Did I? Oh, well, okay, whatever. Um. Yeah, well, whatever. Um, no, well, look, we get your point. We, you know, we, yeah, we can do a lot of positive things for, for um, the majority of humans, you know, with civilization. And obviously, we haven't done it well. We've we've squandered civilization. We could have done so much more with it, and we've just dropped the ball. Um, cross out this guy. Is your, is your mic open? But whatever. Close it if it is. Um, anyway, um, especially the useless, whatever that is, Mario shit. I don't know what this Mario theme is. Um, but anyway, um, I wanted to make a good point here. Yeah, but you go back to a certain f distance, then you're going to have to sit there and isolate the human population in very strict environmental conditions because guess what? We get really inefficient in our food consumption. <laughs> you know, I, you know, the, the, the key to maintaining these populations is the fact that, yeah, we have these high yield crops, these, these crops also, they're easy to metabolize, we get a lot of calories out of them. You know, you got to eat a lot of fruit, you know, because fruit will go right through you. And so you will only extract, oh, it's the girl, um, you got to close your mic, praise, whatever, Furby, 99, got to get your mic closed really problematic um so where was I yeah so yeah it's just not very efficient you know because you got uh, you know or like I don't know how my calories orangutans eat but they eat like 10,000 calories they only process 500 so gotta turn your mic off praise Furby guy Furby girl Can't come on your hand. Clear it out. Clear it out. yeah well I guess you'll have to go then <sighs> Another room for her.
Yeah, well, I'm just saying that that's part of civilization. Is it gives us this processed food. It's yeah, it's easier to metabolize cooked food, processed food. Yeah, you get more calories out of it. What about the fact that meat tastes good? What about that? What about it? Well, if it tastes good, then it tastes good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, that's a good argument. And it only tastes good, generally speaking, when it's cooked, right? So, so somehow it tastes yeah, good to a lion fire, without fire. being cooked, but we only like it when it is cooked. Turn your mic off. Easter singer guy. Yeah, it looks like you did. All right. Um, whatever. It's an irrelevant point. Uh, we, we could ask dumb questions forever. Uh, why, why do we like uh, pretty flowers? Yeah, but it's a subjective thing. And obviously there's some mechanism in our brain where, That's you know, there's some If it's subjective, that means subjective that it's okay for some and not okay for others. No, it just means that it's based on psychology, just based on um, stuff built out of conditioning and, and, and um, um, there's nothing, it has no rational source or uh, there's no uh, method to its madness, put it that way. I think if a cow tastes good and he's too dumb to know he's getting eaten, then eat the goddamn thing. people saying that kind of retarded stuff. It's just dumb. Destroy and dominant. That's a great piece of non-coherent rubbish. Gotta turn your mic off. Destroy or I'm gonna have to destroy you. Uh, yeah. God, so many retards. I've just been thinking about you all week because of that. They've got me in like the, this is all mi consumption and reproduction. Like, how can people think this way? And it's just, they're so, I mean, I'm, I'm going to have to work with these people for a while, but it's like, oh, well, it's okay. I'll be a good ally to you and stuff. And you're just like, uh, I don't know. Uh, it's like they well, you see, do have they the, the, the common ambition in there is at least the anti-abusive civilization part. So that's the only other part that I ever found useful in the argument with some people is that at least the Greens are, you know, they're we have the same enemy. Um, you know, they're also my enemy, but there's worse enemies that we have in common, which is good. So that's something positive you can make out of it. But yeah, I mean, it's, you know. It's they're doing the right thing for the wrong reason kind of thing, <laughs> you know, and they ought to just try the commune thing. I mean, I, I I haven't seen too many people that have really lived the life, you know, preaching the life. There are there are out there. There are people that have done it and they actually like living in, you know, cold and wet trailers and stuff. But uh, it's not a lot of people that want to live that way. Why won't it start a video? Could you do Skype? Uh, yeah, well, for you. So, I'll turn my mic on. I gotta talk. I'm getting tired. I gotta wake up here. Damn, coffee's got no caffeine in it. Um, whatever. Uh, stupid bitch gets my own coffee. It's not that difficult to figure out. Um, I didn't notice, like, on my channel page, on the Doom, Gloom, and Boom channel, it's like uh, they, they got some sort of subscription thing that went on or something, but now it's all girls. Like, on my first 20 subs or whatever, it's all girl pictures, which is kind of nice. 
Uh, Me too. And, you know, I figured. Me too. Yeah, I guess it, whatever that, whoever that, does that shit. That, 